On the spot news media, we got the latest news. We don't care about the views, we just represent it right. Put local news internationally every night. On the spot, wave that Jamaican flag from left to right. Let's get it right, y'all know the type. We ain't dealing with the hype. We make it take flight. Yo man, my viewers and subscribers, what a one. A blessed and wonderful Saturday morning to each and every person out there tuning into on the spot news media. Now my peeps, I don't know how we do it over on this side each and every morning. We have to give thanks and praise to the Most High Creator for the preservation of life because life is indeed the greatest. So now the morning and my peeps I have a few stories to share with you, the regular members of Chan Public and also members of the diaspora. So please like the video, share the video, watch the entire vlog so you can get a full understanding and a better appreciation of everything we are going in Jamaica. And as always my peeps, uh, to the name uh, sat there the day when uh, some of the ones and ones them traverse the church to worship the almighty creator just to offer up their thanks and praises for grace and mercies and of course the preservation of life. So please remember on this spot news media, it's loyal viewers and subscribers in your immediate prayers. You definitely see how Jamaica run right and now so you know for sure. So we need that now more than ever. And to the regular ones and ones them traversing out there in the streets from the grill point to Moran point. Stay safe, look out on a corner, yeah, safe travel, pan the gravel, cause you don't know. The old dirty corner boy, them always out there. Alerts. So watch this now, my peeps. In the morning, yeah, we are going to revisit this story that I covered about five days ago where I spoke extensively about some criminal operatives operating out of the Old Arbor community of St. Catherine. This criminal element here presently on your screen was the main topic of discussion whose birth name is Daniel Ferguson, but more popularly known in the criminal underworld as Fryai or Yaibal. And of course, we also spoke about his so-called Dan, the man that calls the shots and he carries them out. This criminal element are presently on your screen known as Jesus or Bala Jesus. Yeah, man. So this morning, we are here to give a continuation of that particular vlog. So if you have not watched it as yet, please go over and watch this vlog presently on your screen so you can get a better understanding of what I'll be speaking of presently. So now my peeps, as I stated in the previous vlog, this criminal element here, Daniel Ferguson, but more popularly known as Fryai or Yaibal in the streets. So throughout this vlog, you may hear me refer to him as Fryai or Yaibal. Just so there is no confusion, it's the same person that I'm making mention of. And if you hear me say Jesus or Bala Jesus, are the same person me I talk about. Also, that is his done. The shot caller. So now, since I dropped that first vlog a few days ago, he has been running the streets like madans. I'm speaking about Fryai or Yaibal, as he's affectionately called. Pointing fingers and persons, labeling them as informers. But as I stated in the previous vlog, Yaibal, I'm specifically now speaking to you. If any member of Jan Public, the regular members of Jan Public, that I would consider to be innocent, gets hurt because of you and or your cronies, I can guarantee you that would mark the X in the box and your end would definitely come. Because don't think, because you have a certain set of police in your corner, the eyes of the credible and 
clean police officers who are willing to do their work don't have their eyes on you. So it's just a matter of time. The clock is ticking. Tick, tock, tick. The clock is ticking. So I can assure you, if you don't make a drastic turnaround, which I'm pretty sure you won't do because you are way too far gone. And as I've always stated in previous vlogs, violence has its place. Now, if you continue to wreak havoc in the Olaba space, the same will be meted out to you. And not only to you, but also to your cronies. So now, my peeps, I could get into the meat of the matter. Now on your screen is yours truly, of course, the boy known as Yaibal. So Yaibal is, of course, the one on the right. And his 2IC is second in command, known as Sobad or Sobad, as them call him in the streets. Claim to say him bad to the bone. Now, Sobad was also involved in the brutal attack that killed the 44 year old man known as Kevin Davis, otherwise known as Toby. Now, there's other criminal elements who is also involved in that brutal slaying of the man. Now, on your screen in the orange, is a criminal that I made mention of briefly in the previous vlog known as Rumbelly. Now, if I look upon this boy, your sister is a real junkie, this, the one in the orange, with him pants, where they weigh down. We claim to say them bad, but yet still them walk around with them ass out a door. Boy, may I tell you, I don't know how to work out that something there as being bad. But boy, we have another name for you still. Yeah, man. But anyway, the man in the orange, as I stated, is known as Rumbelly. He was also involved in the brutal slaying of 44 year old Kevin Davis, otherwise known as Toby. The next man beside him in the blue polar sport is known as Juicy. Now, Juicy. And Rumbelly is two of a kind, two old dirty kind of boy that has been raking havoc in the old harbor space. That has given the St. Catherine South Police many knockings and clappings because the firepower that was given to them by their boss, the so called Fry Yai or Yai Ball. Now we have other pictures, many other pictures, as you can see. And this one presently on your screen is known as Jed, also a member of that criminal organization that wants to make a name for himself also. The next one presently on your screen is known as Blacks. Blacks is another Nakis and Clappis that also reps for the gang. Now, this picture right now on your screen, as you can see, a whole heap of them in it. The regular ones and ones them from the community that they are from would definitely identify why on the spot news media would have posted this picture. You notice the whole of them man the right there to so take a picture together. That simple means that they are friends. Usually enemies not congregate in a one space and take picture. Having such a happy, friendly look on their faces. Now, the friend turn enemies type of situation is the reason why we have that ongoing gang war in the whole of our space. Now, the old dirty kind of boy there, what them call Fryai or Yaibal is a known friend killer. Yeah, man. Him used to roll with a youth to them call Wooly. Him and Wooly make a portion to step together. In fact, 
if Olaba wished to speak the truth. Only remember when the two of them go make the step and slap away the light man. Yeah man, I'm not sure if he was either employed to the Jamaica Public Service or a JPS contractor, but he is a well-known light man in the community. When he man Wooly step and go slap with the man, Wooly was the trigger man in that particular knockings and clappings. But Yaibal had a shovel and he wanted to make a grimy statement so after Wooly clapped the car and them pan him. He might try to use a shovel to take off the man's head, but it couldn't happen because the car and them already clap and you don't know people are come down and the place start get busy so they might have to take with themselves. And then of course, within a few moments after that, Everybody know what would have taken place with Wooly. So that just goes to show the character of the criminal element known as Yaibal. Yeah man, he has done some crazy things in his time because he has the financial backing of his criminal crime boss known as Bala Jesus presently on your screen. Now we also have the backing of another man. His friend, his confidant, his second in command, his shooter, were known as So Bad. Have a brother right on the top of the highway, there, so we have a shop or a bar, whatever the case may be. Where them always hang out and drink. Everybody don't wish part me at all, man. Right there, so. Now that brother have an arsenal of straps. And more time, when time them want a certain strap, for go up on them movements, that's the brother that they turn to because that brother is the so-called Dan right on the top of the highway. They saw. So this criminal element have a lot of connections within the old harbor space. And of course, he has been making rounds also in the 19 mile space. So now to the detectives investigating the case where the 44 year old man known as Kevin Davis was brutally taken out by these criminal elements. If you need answers to that particular case, seek out these persons first. Now presently on your screen, the criminal element known as Juicy. This brother here was in attendance when the man lose him three pints. The next man that was there is Rumbelly, presently on your screen. And the next man that was there is So Bad, presently on your screen. Now the man will come pick them up after the dirt happened, after them named the man food and broke the plate. Is of course yours truly, Yaibal or Fry Yai, as you may know him. Now, these persons need to be thoroughly investigated as it relates to the brutal slaying of 44 year old Kevin Davis. Leave no stones unturned until these criminal elements is either caught. Or if them a officer Yemen pick and team square off and then decide for put up a resistance and officer Yemen pick and team have to slap them away. Yeah man. Now as it relates to them boss, the man who call the shots, this criminal element are presently on your screen known as Bala Jesus. Now there is a certain argument circulating. Some is saying that he's among the diaspora. Some is saying that he's back. But I have not yet got any confirmation that he's presently in Jamaica. But just in case that particular information is correct, I'm alerting residents of communities and surrounding communities of Bagwak and Linstead. If for any reason you come across this particular 
criminal element here. Alert the nearest police station. Yeah, man. And make them know, say, a known criminal element from the whole Arba community is now taking up residence in yours. Uno definitely don't want to have this criminal here among Uno. Because him have a whole lot of enemies less long so. So you know, say, anyway, him there. It is likely that his rivals will catch up on him. And if you're in close proximity when them come for him, you know, say, them now go afraid for club can in a hurricane also. So again, a word to the wise. Yeah, man. Now, people of Old Arbor, the communities that these criminal elements are raking havoc in let's all join hands and hearts together both the communities and surrounding communities that has been severely affected by these lawless acts of criminality perpetrated on you by these criminal elements join hands and heart together and stand up for the same purpose of ridding your communities of these criminal elements by one way or the other. You cannot continue to allow them to make your businesses fail and to make your community non-productive. Stand up against them because they are just one handful of criminal elements. Because I know for sure most of the members in these communities are decent law-abiding citizens who, because of their circumstances, they have to live in a certain place. These people just want to go about their lawful business and live a decent law-abiding life. Now, stand up against these criminal elements. Yeah, man. Now, remember to like, share, subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned to On The Spot News Media as I continue to bring you fresh news and updates in a subsequent newscast. On The Spot News Media. Yeah, man.